Hello, YouTubers and Facebook enthusiasts and AM enthusiasts. This is Gary Calger here, KB8UGP in Enterprise, West Virginia, with another homebrew build. I built an AM loop antenna out of scrap materials that I had laying around, and uh, it works out pretty good. It'll tune from uh, 550 to 720 very easily there, and I have a small uh, little tuner here, right here, to do this with. Now, the construction of this, I made it with uh, wire that you'd find in a uh, computer cable. Small wire like that right there. There's 12 turns on each of these. 12 here and 12 here. And they're in series. So you got 24 turns with the spacing in between it there. The size of this magnetic loop from side to side, down all the way, all the way around there, is 12 inches. 12 inches across and 12 inches down. And I got it constructed on a 5 8 square wood there. Then on the bottom, I've got one inch what I have this mounted to with the screws here on that. These are 3 8 dowel rods that I used on here, run clear through there, fitted, glued. You just drill a hole through it there, then you start your windings around. 12 turns on each of these uh, legs here. 12 here, 12 there. So that's what it uh, looks like. And I also made this to where it will swivel on the uh, wood there. Where I can turn it on the wood back and forth. But I want to show you that. Now I'm going to use the uh, Tustin uh, PL330 as a demonstration. Uh, of course, that's a SDR, you know, technology they have in this thing. But uh, it worked out really good. Uh, there, I was using it last night. They're really picking up a lot of great stations there last night with it. But I want to show you what these loop antennas do and how they operate. I'm going to turn the volume up on that. Now that's on 1170, 1170 WWVA out of Wheeling. And picks up pretty good. Now watch what happens when I take the radio away. Signal goes way down. Now I'm going to bring it back over here. And this thing, you know, it picks up a good little ways from it. Look at the signal now. But this thing don't like my phone. You get this phone close to it, it picks up the RF from the phone. But I'll detune this, and watch what happens. The signal drops way down. Now I'm going to tune this back up. As you can see, the signal starts coming up on it. Let me get it over here from my other hand. I lost my... There we go. If I get this... Uh, phone away from the antenna it comes in really good 
the RF from his phone tears it up. Now, why don't you see how well the, these loop antennas work? Let's try another station. Uh, let me detune it. Go up here to... Uh, there's a station there. It's really hard to get in. And that station's done a Buck Hannon. My lighting is uh, not the greatest in here. There we go. And I'll have to turn this antenna. There we go. See, it brings them signals in great. Like I said, I get away from the antenna with this phone. It does better. But I just want to show you what these loop antennas will do. Like I said, it's all easy construction. How I made it. In the middle there, I put a dowel rod to spin this thing on. And like I said, these two are hooked in series. Do not hook them in parallel. They do not work. Hook them in series. Crossover right there. Get down a little bit closer. I saw it right there, the crossover. So that hooks it in series there. That gives, gives me the right uh, micro Henry's there to do it with. That's your AM loop antenna. Now we'll go up here a different part of the band. Yesterday down at uh, Alligator Alcatraz, uh, what's going to be tuned now? I will come up. Judges. I'll take all of the uh, JAG officers, that is the Judge Advocate Generals who are turning It went from 30 you can deputize up to 46. Judges, which are employees of 47, and we can 48. Deportations faster. Bobble um, back and forth there, but that's, that's the antenna. All right, y'all take care. Gary Calger here in Enterprise, West Virginia, with the AM loop antenna. Y'all take care. 73. God bless America.